What's up everybody, Gibson's Line Service checking back in with another one. I wanted to put this quick video out here. Uh, and the topic is about hiring your friends, okay? Do not hire friends in your business. And the reason I say that is because, um, how can I put this? Entitlement is real. Okay, and what I mean by entitlement, it, it's like people feel as though they grew up with you. Um, and people feel like that since they grew up with you, they knew you, they was friends with you before the whole world knew you. In a sense, the whole world knew you. But I'm going to break it down to, because that happened with celebrities, but I'm going to break it down like on a business side, right? Okay. Let's say you take a guy running his own lawn service, right? You get to the point, like I say, he's working his full-time job. He's doing lawn care on the side, and he's getting to the point where he's needing to hire help. Me, pers me personally, I'm advocate of hiring strangers. Now, you want to hire a friend for a here and there job, that's fine. But don't try to hire a friend to be a permanent employee because it's not going to work. Because they will never view you as a boss. They will respect you, but they'll never view you as a boss and they will never take your company serious, all right? And all right, I'm, I'm gonna break that down on what I mean. Like, for instance, since we friends, man, I just found out at the last minute about this pool party. So I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna tell Gip, hey man, I ain't gonna be able to make it. Chandra throwing a pool party, you know I like Chandra, so I'm gonna go over there and chill with Chandra. And as, and, and as y'all being friends, y'all have had conversations about Chandra. You know he likes Sean. It seems like, yeah, man, that's cool. Go ahead. But if that same friend uh, had a real boss, so to speak, he would be hesitant to do that. He'd be like, well, I work half a day, and then I come up with excuse and leave. Versus I'm working with my buddy. He'll understand because I like Sean anyway. And then not only that, that'll be one instance. But then you'll have a resentment instance where it's like, all right, you hired your buddy on full time and you said you're gonna pay him $150 a day. All right, five days you're gonna work Monday through Friday, you're gonna pay him $150 a day because he got laid off from his job. You're paying him under the table, so he's still drawing his unemployment, all right? So if I'm not if I'm not mistaken in math right, that's 750 a day. Five days a week, 150 a day, let me see, five, six, 750 a day. 750 a week, I'm sorry. All right, now are you as being the business owner, your schedule full, you got jobs lined up, you got landscape jobs lined up, you buying your buddy lunch, all right? And one day he gonna ask you, man, this is a nice size yard, what this yard paying? About $200. You get quiet, $200. Man, I'm working eight hours, 10 hours, $150. Well, we just done this $200 property in an hour and a half. And I know we at least got three of these a day, so that's 600. They got a bunch of 70s. Man, that man making eight, nine hundred dollars a day. All right, all right. That's gonna always be in the back of his mind, right? Then you run across a little quick landscape job. All right. He hear you while you discuss it with the client. Yes, yeah, such and such is gonna be 2800 to throw the mulch and add some flowers. He gonna be sitting there, 2800. That job probably gonna take us two weeks. Y'all, y'all, you set it up next Monday morning. Y'all knock the job out and then you jump. Look, you knock the $2,800 job out. You finish by lunchtime. Y'all gonna sit out, eat lunch. Then y'all go bang out three $200 yards and a couple of sixes. Give me like, I didn't imagine you made four grand day and he only paying me 200 that ain't fair hold up hold up hold up why that ain't fair did we not agree on 150 and look i'm gonna tell you how it's gonna go hey right, come on cub break me off some of that you just got 2800 i'm saying give your boy about a good three or four if you do give him three or four or even a hundred he think he gonna be able to do that every landscape job. If you don't give him three, four hundred, 
he gonna he gonna he gonna he gonna hold resentment for you. He gonna be a little salty behind that. See, a stranger wouldn't do that. A stranger would not ask for nothing extra because y'all discuss day by day pay, right? Then as time goes on, you banging out landscape jobs. Uh, you picking up new clients while he's sitting right here in the truck, right? He would start developing a hatred for you. And he would do things to sabotage your business. Y'all think I'm lying? Hire your friends on full time and push that work out how you push it out. So, hey, bro, what you think about a little raise? You know what I'm saying? Man, let me get a little raise. You make it all the money. All right? It don't matter if you bump his pay up to 200 a day he getting 1000 a week. It don't matter. Because he still, he, he'll do stuff to sabotage you. He'll be weedy around the flower bed and cut a few of the roses. Oh, man, my bad. Then the client screwing, the client jumping down you know, your throat because you knew how much Mrs. Uh, Miss Brown loves her roses. And this clown done cut about four or five on. Regular employee wouldn't do that. See, the entitlement is real. All right, because, see, I grew up with you. We used to play in a sandbox together. We knew each other since diapers. We used to borrow my video games. And now everybody in town know your name. Everybody in town calling your phone. You out here making eight hundred to a thousand dollars a day. You just you talking about you going to buy a new truck and you and your old lady going on vacation. Me and my old lady working, bro. My old lady got a job. I got laid off of my job. Me and my old lady together make about a hundred thousand a year, about eighty to a hundred thousand a year, and we got kids. But man, you making a thousand dollars a day, which is telling me, man, you make about a hundred, you make about two, three hundred thousand a year. But you crumbing me out for hundred and fifty a day. I ain't right, bro. You owe me more than that. I feel like real, and this is what they are saying. I feel like, man, on that three thousand dollar landscape job. See, they don't think about, they don't even think about material. I feel like on that $3,000 landscape job, bro, you could have gave me about 800. You still would have had 2200, you ain't lost nothing. And we was on that job four, five hours, man, you could have gave me about 800, bro. You see that? Entitlement. They feel like that you owe them. People feel like you owe them. And that can be for siblings too. Blow your stuff up big enough. They gonna feel like you owe them, man. Man, you owe me this. How I owe you this? Cuz, bro, you hit the lottery for 10 million. Bro, you owe me a million dollars, man. We grew up together. Entitlement is real. Listen. You don't owe nobody nothing. Listen, this is what I tell people. This is what I tell people. And y'all could not like it, but I don't care. I train alone. I work alone, I grind alone, and I win alone. So therefore, I'm gonna collect all the profits alone. And I'm not splitting it with nobody except for Mrs. Gibson. Mrs. Gibson can spend the profits and I'm not talking about my mother. So like I said before, the entitlement is real you cannot hire your family and friends to work for you. It will never work unless it's just, it just, it's just an anomaly. But it won't work. It will work for jobs here and there. But big boy jobs just pushing work out? No. That ain't gonna work. Every day? No. That ain't gonna work. And they, don't, they, they won't look at it and be like, man, this man buying me lunch, man. He ain't, he ain't pushing me. This bro. This bro right here. This bro. They don't care nothing about that. The entitlement is real. 